Within AutoCAD 2011, they've added transparency. Transparency allows you to apply effectively a grade or a, a display transparency to any feature in the drawing. That can be based on either selecting the individual object or most commonly through layers. So if I go to the layer dialog box, in here I've got the shadows. At the moment the shadows are solid. If I move across to the right here, I've got the option to apply a transparency to that layer. So if I wanted to make those shadows, let's say, 75% transparent, click 75, OK that, and now the trees display as 75% transparent. So if I zoom in there slightly, you'll see better the transparency effect. That will impact on drawing plot sizes, so beware that obviously it's adding more weight to the, the working of the drawing. And you'll also see at the very bottom, there's a little toggle down here, which is transparency on and off. So you can actually turn transparency off from the toggle at the bottom or turn transparency on. Also, when you plot the drawing, when I go to plot, in the plot dialog box, by default, AutoCAD won't plot the transparency. So what you've got to do is in the plot dialog box, bottom right hand corner, if you expand the plot dialog box, you've got the option here to set whether it plots the transparency or not. So by default, that's not ticked. So by default, unless you put this into template drawing, by default, any plots you do won't automatically put the transparency on. So you, what you get in the display may not reflect what you get in the plot. So just something to be wary of. But if you put that into your, your template drawings and use that, that should be OK. But it will, as I say, be where it will add extra weight, like gradient fills add extra weight to your drawing. Adding transparency will add extra weight to the drawing. So you can play, apply transparency to a layer. You can also apply transparency to a hatch. One of the new things about 2011 as well is when you double click a hatch, rather than going into the hatch edit dialog box, which it used to do, it now opens the properties window, which confuses a lot of people because they, they're used to the dialog box popping up. But the advantages of going to the properties window here, we can make changes direct and see them happen straight away within the, the drawing. So you haven't got to do a preview. It automatically updates in the drawing live. Equally, within here, so let's go and set that back again to the light green. You can assess transparency on the, the hatch as well. So you've got the opportunity to put a transparency. At the moment, it's set by layer. But I can go and set a transparency value here if I want to, to make that, that individual hatch 50% transparent, 25%, or whatever value you want to between 0 and 100%. So you can do it by layer, or you can do it by individual object or individual hatch. Layers are probably easier, because obviously you can change it more quickly via the layer dialog box. But anything, anything you change now, anything I double click on a hatch now, it will go to the properties window and you can edit things directly through here. So hopefully people will get used to that and find it a lot more interactive because you can make the changes straight away.